All right, people, I'm back again. Well, the Lord was talking about a falling away. It's going to become a falling away. What is the falling away really about? Truth and lies. Truth and lies. You know, it's not like you hate people. You don't. You love them. But you love them enough and you love yourself and your salvation enough <laughs> to not be around certain crowds. Does that mean God is going to always distance you from them? Sometimes God can send you straight to them. Read the book of the prophets. They had to go to people that were going against the Lord and tell them what it was. And some of them were thrown in jail. Jeremiah was smote and set and put in prison. You know, all the prophets went through hell and high water telling people, hey man, y'all know, you know what, forget it. This is what's going to happen. It is what it is. I've seen it time and time again. Do you understand? You know, lust is wrong. Lust is wrong, people. But let me let me tell you something. You know it's normal for a man to be attracted to a woman. That's normal. So that's a lust out there. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not condoning lust, people. I'm saying a man is supposed to look at a woman and be like, she's beautiful. And so that could be a, that might make a wife, Wendy. But the lust after the same sex, that's an even, ooh, that's, that's so wrong in so many ways. But I'm going to tell you where the delusion and the confusion comes into play. You're watching shows, men wearing makeup, looking like women, and you're confused. You're like, what the hell is going on? It's crazy when you got to walk through the world and try to figure out what you're looking at as a man. You got to damn near... If you're looking for a wife or something, uh, trying to get somebody to marry, you got a damn near grab them between the legs. <laughs> that's way, that's crazy, man. Y'all don't think that's confusion? You don't see nothing wrong with this. I'm just asking y'all a question. You don't think that is confusion from the depths of hell? You don't think that's delusion or something to make you think, uh, I'm this and I was born net. You don't think that's a spirit of deception? You don't think that's a spirit of error? And then when you start doing it, now your kids looking at you like, well, I guess it's okay. Mom, you got your eight-year-old son going to put makeup on. <laughs> wow. Because you, you can't tell them right or wrong because if you was to tell them it was wrong, that means you're wrong as a parent. <laughs> if your son comes to you and you're a lesbian or a homosexual cousin, uh, person and you're like, hey, uh, your son's like, I like men. You know it's okay. You're going to lie to him because you're, you're lying to yourself. Listen, now you're spreading it. He said, suffer nothing little children to come to me. And he said, woe to those that mislead my little children. Right? That, that mislead them. Now you're just leading the whole generation. You know, I was watching a video. It was a, uh, <laughs> a transsexual. And he was talking about how it's wrong for people to let their kids do this. He was like, what I'm doing is, is basically said, what I'm doing is wrong. I don't condone this. And kids. You see, I respect them. They're like, I'm already error. I ain't even lead nobody else to an error. You know uh, what his name was? Little Richard. He said it before he died. He died. He was like, because he was homosexual. He went both ways, so to say. And he would say, towards the end, he was like, that's not natural. He's like, that's lust. He, he summed it up. You know, you don't really say too much about him no more. Long as he was doing the, the crazy stuff and the stuff they wanted them to do, there was no problem. But when you start giving your life to God, and you know, towards the end of his life, he gave his life back over. He gave his life over to Christ. You see, they don't talk about these stories. People that wake up from the slumber. All they want to talk about is the people that still sleep. And if you go against it, you see, why don't you hear about those stories? About people who were once lost but now found. 
<laughs> All you see about the lost stories now, like people that are still living in darkness. You understand? It's crazy. And you can't turn on the television without anything. That's what I'm saying. Like the, the TV is a, a dragon with a fire trail. You know what I'm saying? And it's putting fires all over the world that can't be distinguished. Every country embracing it. Every movie. I watch movies from overseas and stuff and everything. I'm talking about everybody's embracing it. It's like, hey, if you ain't with the program, oh, y'all ain't hear me. If you ain't with the program, if you ain't delusional, you're hateful. Something's wrong with you because you're not getting with the program. Let me tell you something about true followers. We can't be programmed. God is already, when we accept Jesus Christ in our life as our Lord and Savior, he started deprogramming us from everything that we think is right and putting it with everything that he knows is right and the truth and replacing all the lies that's in the world with truth. And then you start seeing the truth. You're being deprogrammed and reprogrammed as a spiritual vessel, a spiritual house. That don't condone lawlessness. You're about judgment because your father is about judgment. And you look at a love. I say, I look like this. Love is patient. Love is kind. All right, then. People that take that. Well, I found a relationship that is the best in the world. It's got every, every characteristic that the Bible says in regards to love. Does it really? <laughs> and it's, it's two women now. So you're going to use scripture to justify your love. I think not. You better get on somewhere with that. Perfect love cast out fear. I don't fear no more since I'm with this person. That's the same sex as me. You know why you don't fear no more? You know why you don't feel no more? Because the world embraces it. You have been caught up in a delusion. It's okay with the world, so it must be okay with me. So you ain't got to fear no more. Because obviously you ain't fearing the Lord no more either. Now you're going to start distorting the reality of Christ. That's what happens. You understand? And it's a laundry list of things. I don't know why I'm talking about this today, but... It is what it is. I can't help it. It's still keep being in my head. You know, I posted something not a long, too long ago. Like, maybe I'm not angry at the Lord. Maybe I'm angry for a reason. Maybe I'm bitter like this. I just imagine the, the uh, prophets coming through. I'm sure they was upset. One thing about it, people, you want to realize, when the Lord's upset, things happen. Things happen when the Lord gets upset. He's so to anger. <laughs> but when he gets mad, things happen. Crazy thing man. when the Lord gets mad. You know what the crazy thing gonna happen when the Lord gets fed up and uh gets mad? He gonna send his son back. He be like, hey y'all, uh, Jesus, Yahshua, whatever you wanna call him, the Christ. It's time. You know he gonna come back and his garment's gonna be red. Dripped in blood. Vengeance this time. And all those people are like, Christ is love. Not the love you're talking about. Oh, you think I love you so much that I like you being a liar? That I like you being a thief and a murderer? An adulterer? He told you who's going to make it to the lake of fire. What makes you think that those characteristics that you hold and keep and hold dear to and embrace your sin nature and expect you still to be in the good graces of God. That's why you got you better read the old test. I remember when uh I always used the story when Moses was so compassionate. Lord, don't kill him. Don't destroy him. You it don't look like you brought us out here to destroy us in the wilderness, Lord. Moses wasn't even halfway down the mountain before he done threw the tablets out. Oh, Lord, have mercy. What's going on here? 
I was pleading with these folk. Now I see. The Lord had a reason to be. You see, the Lord here, like, Moses, go down there and check that out right quick, man. Man, man. <laughs> Y'all people ain't paying attention. I don't supposed to embrace nothing but the truth. And if it ain't the truth, it's a lie. And I don't supposed to embrace lies. You see, you're falling away first, right? The devil's trying to destroy marriages. Guess who else is? The Lord. Oh, nobody don't want to hear this. If y'all ain't coming to one and call how the marriage is supposed to be, because God's trying to save souls now. He's not trying to keep marriages together. You know why? Because we're going to be married to him. You know, he ain't trying to keep unprospering marriages together. Why? It's the last days. We're living in the days, buddy. He said a man's enemy will be those of his own household. God's going to separate his real people. He's going to separate them from it don't matter who. Take Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. God does keep them together. If we'll still start praying to the Lord Jesus Christ, he will be delivered from that Jezebel whore. <laughs> God don't believe in divorce. In that case, yes. Because of the hardness of your hearts. I allowed it. Y'all better read the Bible. It's allowed. If your eye calls you to sin, cut it off. What if your wife calls you to sin? What if your husband calls you to sin? What if your children cause you to sin? Cut them off. It's simple. Keyword causes you to sin. Cut them out. You see, spiritual is different from the physical. You see, I'm glad God forgives my sins. You know, one of my sins may be marrying the wrong person. Oh, holy crap! For all you preachers, I'm not going to separate what God put together. Well, can, don't you as a preacher supposed to utilize righteous judgment, you fool? <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're going to keep two people together. For what? If God want to bring them back together, he will. Do your job. Do your damn job. What you in the pulpit for? Oh, you got it all figured out, huh? You know who's supposed to stay together. <laughs> Wrong. You don't know nothing. I like, uh, what his name is? Bunny Bachman. But I don't agree with him on that. I'm going to tell you something, people. A lot of people are unfruitful because they're unfruitful marriages. You understand? The Lord wants you to stay with adulterer. The Lord wants you to stay with a woman beater. The Lord wants you to stay with a thief. Why? He said, if you join yourself to a harlot, you're a harlot. So, yes, I'm telling you in this world, chasing after marriage and chasing after the perfect relationship, you might marry the wrong person. And God will fix it. Why? How God loves you. God's not going to keep you in no situation that's going to sacrifice your soul making it to heaven. Ever. If you call yourself a Christian, you will be delivered from any evil, no matter what it is, no matter who it's coming from, your mother, your son, yourself, yourself. A lot of y'all just delusional. <laughs> delusional ass folks. You understand? Don't go to hell. Because you're delusional. Because you get delusional. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to get stuck there. Then you're going to start believing everything. That's what delusional is all about. 
Believe in things you ought not to believe. Delusion. I'm telling you, behold, I stand at the door and knock. A lot of y'all need to let God in your house. You let everybody else in. Let God in. That homosexual friend you got that you've been condoning your whole life and you've been going to church your whole life, what the hell is going on? I'm just being real. Just being real. You ain't helping him. You showing him that God condones their, their behavior. Y'all better wake the hell up. Yes, I'm an asshole. For Christ. What are you? Have a blessed day.